Hi everybody, I just got this FLIR One thermal camera. Um, this is pretty cool, I'm very excited about this. Uh, what it is, is it's a thermal camera accessory for iPhone 5 and 5S. Um, I already happen to have that type of a phone. Uh, I spent $250 for this. Uh, it's kind of neat. Uh, what it does is it comes with sort of a slimline case. So you put your phone in there. And then it has a hole on the back that lines up with uh, this part right here. And then on the bottom, this really acts kind of like a dock. It really has a Thunderbolt connection at the bottom, just like the cord for your uh, iPhone 5 has on it. It's the same type of connection. And then you slide the phone right down into there, and it just clicks together. Now the FLIR One thermal camera it does have its own battery and it does charge up separately. It comes with a mini USB cable. Um, funny though, it doesn't come with a little uh, wall power adapter, but hey, if you already have an iPhone, you probably already have one of these. So um, this is what I used. I just plugged it into this to charge it up. Uh, the other thing is that uh, the FLIR One accessory itself makes the phone a little thicker and also just a little bit longer. Um, the goofy thing is if you want to plug your headphones in while the camera's installed, they actually give you a little adapter. It's just a extension for the headphones so that uh, it literally just goes right through there so your headphone uh, plug can reach if you want to listen to music while you're doing thermal photos, I suppose. Basically on the back, uh, there's two cameras. One's the thermal and one's visible light and then the device puts the two together. Basically, the visible camera gives you the edges of the image. And the thermal camera isn't very high resolution, um, but by putting together the thermal image and the uh, visible spectrum image, you can tell what you're looking at. Right here, this is the power switch. So right now it's off. And if I flip it to on, it also uh, integrated right in here is sort of a little mini lens cover. So basically, turn the phone on, Punch in your secret password if you have one. And then go to the FLIR app. This is a free app. You just download it off the App Store. There's also a couple of other uh, apps available for the FLIR camera as well, including a, a panorama and some other things. But we just go to the app. And what it's going to tell you is, hey, make sure it's on. And then pull this down to calibrate it. Give it a second, then let go. And now you've got your, uh, your thermal camera. Uh, for example, I've got a coffee cup full of hot water here. And if I take a look at that through the thermal camera, it's pretty cool. Right away you can see that, uh, that heat difference. I've also got a little crosshairs in the middle. Um, listing temperature, it's in Fahrenheit. I could kick it over to uh, centigrade if I wanted. Um, then on the settings for this, there's different color scales. So right now, um, I'm looking at the iron, which is like the default color scale, but we can flip through to different ones, black and white, rainbow. And what they do is they, they kind of show um, the heat in different ways. Uh, you might be looking at the coldest part of the image, the hottest part of an image. There's different ways you might want to look at it. So it's nice that it has that available in there. The other thing that's kind of neat is when you take a, a image here, it's going to it's going to save a photo. You can also set this up so that it saves it into your camera roll as well, which I thought was a neat feature. Now, it's not real high res. It's only 640 by 480, so it's, um, you know, it's not super megapixel here. Relatively low res, but it gives you lots of information. Uh, here's something kind of cool. I had the coffee cup sitting there for, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds. Let's move the coffee cup. You can still see where I set the coffee cup on the table, and if I put my hand right there, I can feel that. I can feel the table's a little bit warmer. Pretty neat. Uh, there's some other uh, fun settings in here. Um, that spot meter can be turned on and off. If you're in the dark, you can turn the light on the iPhone on. Uh, settings lets you change a few things, go from Fahrenheit to centigrade, some things like that.
Now you can also shoot video uh, with the FLIR one. All you have to do here is press this little button, kicks it over to the video mode, and it's just like taking video with your, your iPhone normally. The difference is um, it's only 640 by 480 video. It does shoot uh, H.264, but it's a low frame rate. It's uh, like six or seven frames per second, so it, it's going to be pretty jerky. It's not smooth video at all. Okay, we're now in my living room. Uh, you're looking at an outside wall. It's January. It's a couple degrees below zero Fahrenheit right now. Um, I have a wood stove in my living room. Uh, this is the chimney pipe for my wood stove. But let's take a look at the wall through the FLIR 1 thermal camera. And right away you can see uh, some vertical lines and a horizontal line. Uh, those are the studs in my wall. That's the actual house framing. Uh, where the studs are, it's a little colder because that's solid wood instead of fiberglass insulation. So if I look around, I can actually use this as a stud finder, which is pretty amazing all by itself. Um, the dark spot there on the left, that's my back door. It's a big glass door. Uh, glass is not a very good insulator. And one thing I am glad to see is that the uh, stove pipe here hardly shows up um, any different from anything else. That stove pipe isn't cold. That's good means it's not letting heat out of my house. But up at the very top here, that's the connection where the stovepipe leaves the house. And if I look at that, that's that dark spot. That part's um, really cold. So that might be a good candidate to see if maybe I could insulate that. But uh, just being able to take a look at framing in a building is pretty neat. You can see where uh, there is and isn't insulation. Uh, here's another neat thing. If I look to the right a little bit, there's a window. The window is dark because it's cold, uh, but the camera uh, only has a certain thermal range. So just like an auto iris, if you put something really cold and something really hot next to each other, those colors are going to change. Like if I frame out the cold window, we go from the oranges back over to the purples. Um, so a good way to use this device actually is kind of move it around a little bit. You get a much better sense of the differences between hot and cold uh, by moving it around like that. Here's something else that's fun to look at. Uh, in the upper left here, uh, there's a bright spot and a dark spot. Uh, the dark spot is actually a heating vent um, because my furnace is off right now and it's made out of metal, so it's cold. And that bright spot is a light. And it's a can light. And if you see it's a little darker on the left, uh, that can light is basically up in the attic and it looks like there's less insulation on the left side of it than on the right side of it. So overall the FLIR 1 camera is pretty easy to use. It's, um, it adds a little bit of heft to the phone, makes it a little bit larger. It fits in the, the hand pretty nice, but it's not the sort of thing that I would walk around with this on my iPhone all the time. Um, it's a little bit of a pain that it uses the slimline case on the phone to line it all up. Um, I liked the case that I had on my phone, um, and you would think it's a little bit of a pain to switch back and forth between the two cases, but uh, typically I think most people are going to use these uh, a whole bunch, but at a crack. I mean, you might swap the case and then use this all day um, looking at where you do and don't have insulation in your house, for example. Um, it does charge separately from the phone. Uh, in the latest firmware, it is set up now that when you plug in the mini USB cable that comes with it, once the FLIR 1 is charged, it will then continue to charge the iPhone. That's an update they did recently, uh, which looks like that's uh, kind of a cool thing. And uh, still, here's that coffee cup with hot water in it. Uh, pretty neat. This is great for looking at electronics, uh, looking at um, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. It was pretty interesting looking at my furnace and my water heater. Um, I haven't done any external views in my house yet, but I have already found a spot in my attic where um, there's a strange circle of cold, and I think that uh, may have been where there was a, uh, a leak, for example. Uh, but check out the FLIR one. It's, it's pretty neat, and uh, please head on over to uh, ecoprojectier.net to see my full blog review of this cool little thermal camera.